Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review on the new Monster High San Diego Comic Con Dracula Doll for 2023. So as you can see, I actually have two of her. Um, and I'm not sure which one I actually want to unbox. So I'm going to go ahead and decide which one I want to come out on. But I huh? Okay. I bought two because I thought my friend missed the drop because he was sleeping. And I was like, fuck, let me buy two just in case because he's been really wanting this doll ever since we saw the leaks. But then I ended up with two because he actually ended up getting them. Um, So now I'm like, well, I don't mind having two of this doll. I have one in and out the box. So, um, yeah, that's why I have two. Um, So, yeah. And I'm going to, now, like I said, figure out which one I want to actually open. So, yeah. All right, I'm back and I decided to open this one. The one that was on, I believe. Girl, do, I don't know about right to left, that's embarrassing. Hold on, the left? No, the right, girl. <laughs> Hold up. All right, guys, I'm back. And she's on our right, but in her world, it's really the, her, a left, but it's fine. It's not that serious. Anyway, here's the boxes. Um, since I have two, I can show you guys both display options this is the way she's intended to be displayed but you can choose both and i'll show you guys really um i'll show you guys why in a second that's why yeah that, that's the word i was looking for um but yeah so here's this box here's the right up she's like supposed to be in a stage these are the curtains there's some flying bats everywhere and this is how it's intended to look but both ways are actually turning into smoke as well. These little designs. And then there's a little blurb that says Draculaura on both of these sides. Here are the sides of the boxes. They're showing, these are two different sides. This is this artwork and that artwork. And then on this side, it's also just like the same two artworks, but reversed. So yeah. And on the back, here's the little blurb. There's more like art of it, the, the dolls and type rope. Type rope. <laughs> People like this is supposed to be like like a fire breather, a tight roper. Girl, is that what it's called? I don't know. I should really know. And like a magician. And then it just shows every, um, you know, the designers. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, that's really cool. This is Monster High. Now I'm going to open the box and see like what's in there because there's more surprises and stuff. Right, I'm trying to find a way to show this, but when you open the, the we take the flap off the box, there's this panel inside that has artwork of um, the Free to Chic dolls. So there's Frankie, Torlai, um, Jennifer, and a little just stock image photo that's just a shadowed out of Glypie. And it's really cool. As you can see, these are the same acts that we've seen on the um outside of this flap um, but it's not on this side but yeah y'all know what i mean um except it's the actual dolls now and it's really cool and yeah it looks like a stage so this is what the doll looks like without the the flap <laughs> i don't know what to call it i'm bad at words and here's the side of the box it says step right up step right up see the amazing dracula and then there's this gorgeous artwork of this is the Daring Acrobat, and if you turn it, here's a big photo from the back. It's so pretty. I think Darko was the artist. He, he did his thing. He did his thing. A bunch of bats and spotlights and webs. It says, Freak to Shake Draculaura. Also, some other things I want to showcase is that the logo is actually the same on the back of the boxes as well. So there's alternating versions of the artwork as well here, which is really cool. And it still fits. And here's what this looks like backwards as well. But the text is all backwards, obviously. And then this one as well, which is really cool. And also on the top of a box, the box actually says Dracula in this foiling material. I don't know if I showed you guys that. But yeah. And then this side has more artwork of her. And it says, being the latest act in the freak to shake makes me feel like a total scare devil. I love sitting on the trapeze, looking down at the crowd before dramatically swinging forward and spinning upside down in the air. The lights dancing off the sparkles off my of my costume. As I flip into a somersault, the crowd is dazzled with my bat wings. 
and as my costume he was gripped the trapeze and I saw like a true creature of the night. I think being an acrobat is better than being a real bat and I don't think I'll, I'll ever come down. So until creations. Let's also see. here is a um girl I'm gonna talk about here's like a look at the barcode in the back in the bottom of the box for anyone curious. Um yeah there's a barcode you know you can't buy this in stores but yeah I'm trying to show this about like exposing myself too much because this is very reflective. Um, so um, but there's an option to actually display the stop right side up and right side down. Girl, I don't know if it's right side down, but upside down and upwards because these both actually say um, for you to see Draculaura. Either way you look, either way you turn, which is really cool. I put a name of what type of art this is called, but I forgot the name. But yeah. Very pretty. All right, so I'll be back. So now we're opening this Dracula right here. Sadly, not this one, but we still love her. We still love you, Drac. Oh, I can't zoom in more, but we still love you, girl. We just we just like this one a little bit better. Yeah, cause she's giving, she's giving cunt, cunt of interest. All right, I'll be back, bye. Now here's a better view of Dracula without the glare. You can really see everything now really nicely. She's so pretty, oh my God. Um, if you were curious, you know, I could flip her upside down too. What is that black stuff? Oh. Oh, this is sticker residue. Don't worry about that. Anyway, um, this is what it looks like backwards as well. So yeah. Now I'm going to cut. I already started cutting, but I know some people like seeing this. So I, that's why not, I do it too. I can't really see that well. These are kind of bad scissors, but we cut her out. Ooh, cut. Period. We did that. Okay, now I'm gonna do the rest, cause I'm, if I do the rest on camera, I will cut this door. Okay, okay. And this is also what the inside of our box looks like, if you are curious. Very pretty, like this is gorgeous. I love her. I mean, I love this box design. There's a crowd. Very cool. And if you turn it around, <laughs> the crowd is actually like the right side up. Oh, if you turn it around, which is really cool. There's like the floor, just with like the floor and stuff. And there's like ladders and stuff. The bats. So pretty and so cool. There's actually crowds on either side. Yeah. All right, so now Dracula's out the box. And here she is. She's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Here's kind of fabulous. Um, so yeah, we're going to just start off with Dracula. So Dracula has this bat's headpiece that has um little like shing not shingles, bitch, like little pearls, little balls um, on the ends, like little fuzzy balls that are like on quilts. You know like those quilt blankets and pillows that have a little like balls on the end of them? <laughs> um, I'll put a photo of one. Like that's what it's supposed to like be. And then like there's bat and then the top are two bat ears, which are really cool. And has that quilt material that's metallic and also a little bit sparkly too. You can see that. And then the the bottles go all the way around. Let me stop laughing. I'm so mature. And on the back there's a bottle with a skelet. It's very pretty. And while we're back here, we look at her hair. So Dracula just has her standard black and pink hair mixture. It's all saran. And there are, there are all these ringlets. And there's so many of them. Oh, oh Dracula, no. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, this is like, like I was trying to show y'all. There's so many curls. There's so many layers of the curls. And they're very nice. Um, sadly, since the shoes in the box, they kind of got a little room. But it's fine. If you go with, like, with some water and like a little conditioner and like brush each curl out and recurl it. I bet you it should look really good. Um, and yeah. And then here's her face, her beautiful face. So she has, she has her standard light pink skin, not that like really weird pink that they used on her Creep Production doll. I don't know why they did that, but cause her skin was never that pink. But anyway, um, she has yellow and pink eyeshadow. The yellow eyeshadow starts off um actually no it's shimmery but it's more like a gradient of like a lighter yellow to one like a, a true gold and it's the same on each eye and then underneath the yellowish goldish eyeshadow she has this this really like delicate pink eye makeup which is so beautiful 
And then on the, like, the corners, it goes into black on each side. And then she has this like Harlequin-esque, Jester-esque um, eye, eye makeup with the two lines and the dot at the top. And then she has like these these this old timey makeup that like I feel like showgirls and like um circus people and people that did like these acts and stuff like they like back in the day. A lot of them definitely have like um ooh <laughs> like I was trying to say, I feel like a lot of like old timey like showgirls and um magicians and like circus acts, I feel like this makeup was very popular back then. Like the little dots on the eyelashes and the eyeliner. And she still does have her signature beauty mark. It's just a little bit more higher up. And it's all black. And then her blush is really cool because it's in the shape of of hearts on both cheeks. Which is so pretty and so delicate and really like seals in a like circus vibe. But you know like that. You know it's Shabrit Dupri Dushi. You know she's supposed to like she's supposed to be in a circus. And she definitely sells it really well. And she also has her signature purple eyes. And her lips are so beautiful if it wants to focus. She has like a like a pink to like a plummy color ombre lip, which is so beautiful. And she has like her we haven't really seen ombre lips on Monster Idols too often, I don't think. So this is really nice. And then she has her white fangs and black lip liner that also forms the little balls at the end. <laughs> There's little circles. I could just say circles at the end. And it's very pretty. This mug. It's a 10. It's a 10. Face Clard never declines, bitch. Did I say Clard? I meant Clard. Face Clard never, de never declines and never will, period. Here are um, Jackie Bear's earrings. They're really cool. It's basically like trap, like a, like her earrings, earrings like mini trapezers, but the trapezer is a bat, which is so cool. And it's all gold. It's like electroplated. And this gold material, it's like a rope, like a ring rope with like a, a bat hanging off of it. And it's so beautiful. And in the stud itself, I believe it's just a standard. No, the stud is a heart. So that is so pretty, pretty. If you can see, let me try zooming in a little bit more so you can see the heart. Um, if it wants to focus, but yeah, it's a heart. And that goes into a circle, which is really cool. And it's the same on this side, but not two different earrings. Um, and it has like little chips in it because I guess when it was molding, they had to separate it from the other earrings. Which doesn't bother me too much, it's not too noticeable. And then let's go down to her outfits. So Dracula sports this mesh, but it's like a very thick mesh. I don't know if you would actually call this mesh, but it's like a, yeah, I would say it's like a mesh material, like similar to um, like a, I don't know what you would call it actually, but <laughs> it's mesh, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. And let me just shut up. <laughs> and, and then it goes into two cuffs. Um, on each side, obviously, one cup each that's made out of this, like, tool, which is very pretty, and it's very thick, too, honestly, and this whole jumpsuit is very thick, it's not, like, a cheap mesh or anything like that, and then she also has this, this tool, um, neck piece on her neck, duh, it's a neck piece, bitch, anyway, um, that matches their, her cuffs, her, her tool cuffs in the same color, and I believe it's actually a separate piece from the cape, in a bodysuit, which is very nice. And then she has this um, gold ribbon bow, like bow necklace, which is so gorgeous and so pretty and it's electroplated. And it actually like um, clasp, not clasp, but like it like forms on her body. So it doesn't, it won't come off even if you take the ribbon off, which is very smart. And in the middle, there's a skelet. Um, and in her bodysuit, not her bodysuit, like her leotard piece, you know, just like gold and black material. I'm not sure what type of material this is, but it's very nice. Um, and it has it has two black straps, if you can see, um, at the top. Um, and at the end of the um, bodysuit, there's more of that pink, that light pink tool. Not like a light pink, but like a like a lemonade pink almost. Um, to link on each side of her leg. Um, my camera's being so weird, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. It's literally like a new phone. And it wants to act up. Like, this is so terrible. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's her outfit. And the body... And the leotard and the bodysuit are actually two separate pieces. Which is really cool. Um, Same with the neck piece, like I said. And now her cape, which is so beautiful. I feel like a lot of these newer Draculars that Mattel's doing, a lot of them actually do come with capes. 
which is very nice. I mean, there's Dra Dracula or Dolls Pinhead cakes, but, you know, we didn't see it too, too often. I feel like for these Northern Light Dolls, they're more prevalent. But, um, yeah, here's, um, the front of the cake. It's actually two layers. Ooh, don't hit the thing, Drac. Um, if I can show y'all. It's two layers. And they're like, um, what type of pattern would you call this? Like, uh, I don't know, hold on. Sorry, I was trying to figure out what this pattern was called, but I don't, girl, it's just a bunch of rhombuses, and it's really pretty. And, um, it's, ooh, if you didn't realize, her cape is actually bat-shaped. Like, it's cut to be bat-shaped, which is really cool. Let me move her trapeze out the way. Bye, girl. Anyway, it's actually bat shape, which is really nice. Um, and like I said, it's two layers. The one in the front is actually a tiny bit shorter than the one in the back. Um, and there's elastic that connects to her wrist. They could put on her wrist. You can see it right there. Oh, this phone is pissing me off. Like, why does it not want to focus? But yeah, you can see it right there. And it connects to her wrist, so you can um, shake the um cape however you want and then it ties in the front with a black bow um and yeah here are the pant legs of their bodysuits <laughs> very nice it, the bodysuit is all in one piece by the way um the leotard the leotard is separate though um and then here's her shoes they're gold strappy sh um gold strappy shoes bitch oh my gosh i need to stop saying the b word anyway <laughs> the b word oh my gosh the b word is crazy anyway and they actually do form bows in the back, but since the pant leg, the pant legs are very, or the bodysuit legs are very thick, they don't go all the way around, which is kind of sad. I low-key wish this was just made out of ribbon, like the straps, and that the bodysuit was, like, didn't cut off, and, like, it went down to her foot, and it, like, closed off like that, like, somewhere to tights. Because I feel like that would just, I mean, like, the artwork more and the vision the designers had better more. And the ribbon would be really cool. Like, have, like, real ribbon laces for this doll's shoes. I feel like that was the way to go. But for some reason, Mattel decided not to do that. Because, um, honestly, this this is my biggest problem with this doll, honestly. is like, this area, it just doesn't look the best. Like, as soon as the stock photos come out, I was like, that doesn't look right. And funnily enough, I believe in her artwork. Sorry, I had to get, like, her artwork. It's, you know, they actually go all the way down and the ribbons are higher up than the actual doll. That's not the case. And I just wish that they actually just utilized real ribbon, you know? Similar to like how Rainbow High dolls do and stuff. And like older Mattel dolls too. Like I have a Mycene doll that has this kind of situation as well. So I feel like they should have just did this. I don't know why they didn't, but it's fine. You know, she's, it's still decent looking but it just looks a little bit funny to me but, but anyway let me stop criticizing the shoe um so the the pink parts of the shoe are actually like like mini like tassels which are really nice and then the um wedge of the shoe is very textured and it's like a very high heel that kind of um um is more up that's it's like more higher up in the front and it kind of slants down and then the heel is her two hands, like two gesture hands, with like um little cruff, really ruffle sleeves or ruffle cuffs, and like fishnet um um like designed or mesh designed um what's it called sleeves girl what am I talking about? It's actually the same as um her as as her hands and her um, little cuffs and her sleeves if you didn't realize, which is actually really cool. It's kind of like her hands. And then what's cool about the, this is actually it can hold her trapeze, which I'll show you all in a bit. But yeah, but that's really cool, honestly. And I forgot to mention that her hands are actually the glove mold. I believe this was first used on the either the frights, no, not the frights camera, actually not right. I believe the first doll that had this was the um, I Heart X, I Heart Shoes Dracula. I could be wrong. And if that's a different mold than this, then maybe the I Heart accessories or Scaretage, um, no, not really, no girl. If it's not that mold, then maybe the Frights camera actually operated, um, I believe, so yeah. I don't know if there's separate glove molds. I feel like there's only one, like, glove mold like this. I know there's other glove molds, but glove molds like this particular one where the whole hand is a glove, I believe this is the only one that they have, but I could be wrong. 
because the other glove molds, they're like fingerless. So yeah, and they're usually not like the wear cat and werewolf characters. Now here's Jackie Laura's trapeze. So the trap, like little bar piece where she like does her tricks off of and hang off of are, um, is like a gold bar that has like this, almost like it's like been twisted up because it's supposed to be like a rope, I believe. And it has two little um, circular attachments at the, ooh, girl, at the end. And on top, there's two plastic golden bats that um, have loops across their wings so that the ribbon can be um, attached. It's a light pink ribbon. So you can actually like put a nail on your wall or something and um, hang the ribbon off and hang the dog off of the trapeze piece with her shoes, which is honestly really cool. I can't demonstrate that at the moment because I don't, I can't, I just can't. Um, <laughs> Now here's Count Fabulous. Um, he's all black like usual, except for the unreleased um, Howlin' Hoodies Count Fabulous. That was like a Bepto, Pepto Bismol pink. Sadly, that never came out. That line is honestly kind of really cute. Um, he has a Jester's bow that has um, yellow and black rhombuses, and the the bow itself is like a hot pink color. And then he has a side eye, like a side glance, which I think this is. Count Fabulous' first side glance, which is cool. I mean, I could be wrong, but maybe it is. And his eyes are the typical yellow. And he has um, um pink eye makeup, actually. Like they're, but that's, that's triangular. And he has light, um, pink blush and a pink nose. That has like a dot. I mean, I don't know if that dot is intentional. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I don't think it is, but it could be. And then he has the standard. This is the standard Count Fabulous mold with like this first edition. Um, outfit, so not his robe outfit. I believe he's the only pet to have like two different molds. No, that's a lie. Crescent has two different molds, and so does Dustin. Um, but outfit wise, I believe this is the only like monster pet that has two different outfits, like in a singular generation, which is really cool. But it has like you know the heart, the standard hearts, but this time they're pink and yellow, and his the shirt piece is not like white, just black, and he has um. Um, a, a pink ruffle that matches bow. He's really cool and cute. And on the back, um, the pink continues, which is obviously really nice. And, and there's nothing on the bottom, just his little feet. But yeah, this is honestly a really cute Count Fabulous. Um, I like it that Count Fabulous has so many different looks. I feel like he got the most pets in the G1 and like his G2 pet as well, which is just the same as his regular pet. But yeah. He's really pretty. All right, so this is what Jackie Lloyd looks like hanging off of her trapeze. So I just like got a little like push pin that I had that had these little bars and I just hooked it on. So yeah, this is how it works. So since her hands, uh, the heels of her heels have like a little hand grip, they actually, the trapeze actually fits in there and that's how she is packaged in the box because her shoes are holding the trapeze. So yeah, it's really cool that she just, the, the, the grips um, hold on to the trapeze. And yeah, she's just hanging off. I would recommend doing this on a surface that like the table maybe stops like right under her hair, just cause the weight of the doll might just make her fall off the trapeze since it's just plastic. You know, it's not like a real hand is gripping on that. So it's not, it's probably, it probably won't stay like this, but it is very stable and it's very sturdy and it's hanging on. Um, so yeah, there's Count Fabulous making his little cameo. Um, and yeah, very nice and very cute. Also, before I forget, Dracula comes with a black stand. No brush, sadly, but, you know, we have enough Monster High brushes as it is. It's just a standard Monster High black stand, which, believe it or not, was actually pretty standard for most of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives back in the G1 run. I believe the only ones to have colored stands in the original run, not including, like, G2 or G3. Well, I'll include G3 too since it was just like directly after g1 like they didn't really take that much of a break if not a break at all um the only two that had color stands was the 2010 frankie and the 2011 Goya, i believe the rest of them either had plain black stands like this or they had a black stand base but um a clear acrylic stand stick and like a a clear acrylic stand um clip too I don't know if I called this the stick a clip. I'm sorry for that. But yeah, I'm sorry if that was confusing. But yeah. 
All right, before I end the video, I just wanted to compare the new SCCC 2023 Jerky Homer doll on the Wife Lady Fair Whole Title Show to the all the newer alumni Dracula Laura designs that are new. So the Creep Productions not on here. Partly because I don't have her and when she's not a new design. I mean I guess you could say this thing for a real drama, but she's technically a new concept, so she counts as something new. So yeah. This is the first one that the first alumni Dracula Laura that Mattel came out with. The Hakator doll. This doll is honestly very beautiful. She's very sought after and I can see why. Like she's this is an amazing doll. And then here's Real Drama. The second one that came out was Creep Production. I don't have her. And this is Real Drama. Such a beautiful doll as well. I love her face. I don't people think she's ugly. I think she's very haunting and very beautiful. And yeah. And here's Holiday. I don't mind her hair. I never watched it. I just forgot to. Because there's some drama surrounding me and this doll that I'm not going to get into. But yeah. She's also very beautiful. But I feel like her outfit is not the best. I feel like they could have been done better but she's still beautiful especially if like um move her bangs she has a gorgeous face and here's the newest one who's so gorgeous scc girl she's very scc doll she's very goofy but i love her um yeah honestly my favorite is definitely probably these two i just think they're so beautiful i love them but she's definitely like number three probably and she's probably like my least favorite but yeah these are like all of the new alumni Draculauras, and these are also all the collector Draculauras, excluding Real Drama. Real Drama's Playline, but I don't know. I don't know if you could say Real Drama Playline because they were so limited, but allegedly they're Playline. Um, but yeah, and these are three of the four collector special edition and now seeing the Comic Con Draculauras. And so the second one they did, I mean, yeah, the third one they did, not the fourth one. The first one is the 2015 collector doll which i'll put a photo here and she ate she's honestly probably tramples over all of these four she's the best she's reigning supreme but yeah this is how she looks next to all of them and honestly mattel did a very good job designing this new dracula and all these alumni doll dolls um these alumni draculars i mean even my least favorite she's still ate like this is an amazing doll um but yeah Anyways, that was my review on the Monster High San Diego Comic Con 2023 Dracula doll. I really love this doll. She honestly might be one of my favorite Comic Con dolls they ever made, which is very, uh, um, what's it called? Which is very impressive. That's what I'm looking for because a lot of the Comic Con dolls were beautifully designed, beautifully executed. Um, and I feel like this one holds up really well and, and con it continues that comic-con legacy very well i feel like the frankie one that we got last year she was very pretty very nice but i feel like she was missing a little oomph and i feel like this doll really brought that oomph to the table despite some of the issues i have with her um yeah this doll retail for 75 dollars which i think is absurd the monster Eye comic-con dolls were never expensive at all they were like honestly the price of like a retail doll with like the two packs just being 40 instead of like 35 i believe but i could be wrong um, but yeah, it's kind of just upsetting that Mattel up, up charges these dolls that they were charging like regular prices just like what the last Comic Con doll we got was the Ghostbusters Frankie. That was only seven years ago. Like I know inflation is bad, but to, to jump from 25 to 75, uh uh honey, something's going, something's going on. They're just up charging it because they know the girls will pay. And it's sad. I hope that they stop one day, but whatever. It is what it is. But besides all that foolishness, this is a very nice doll. Honestly, if you missed out on her, I, I low-key recommend just get it, waiting for her or buying her now. Because she's Draculaura. Draculaura dolls are very expensive. I feel like she's just going to keep going up. Um, but I could be wrong. I could be eating my own words. Maybe she won't. But yeah. Anyway, let me stop rambling. This is the longest outro ever. But yeah, I recommend her a lot. But I shouldn't say that, actually. Because, <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.